Welcome back to London Vegans on YouTube. Hello there. And hello to all our new subscribers. We've had a few Ooh, over the last yeah. few weeks, which is always nice to see. Dedicated coconuts. If you don't know, if you haven't watched the previous video, we like to dedicate a video, each video, to somebody who's been either messaging us or a new subscriber. Or a lovely, just or generally lovely, lovely, lovely. Just lovely just, vegans. Yep. Jenny commented on one of our videos where we were talking about being 100% vegan if you can be as vegan as you can be by boycotting you know, maybe Alpro, yeah. because obviously you know, they're not a vegan company, um, or not owned by mm. a vegan company. I mean, it would be just so difficult, wouldn't it? Because you wouldn't go to Tesco. She said, mm. you know, it's impossible to be 100% vegan. It's obviously <laughs> happening, the movement's obviously happening, and what we're doing is we're making a change. Look at Tesco's, look at Sainsbury's, yeah. look at Aldi's in America. I can't wait, in, in five, just over five weeks' time, I'm going out to America. Hey, Cullen. And they've got a new range of vegan products in Aldi's in America. I am going to get my face in those Oh my god, I've been watching The Vegan Zombie mm. on, on YouTube. I love his channel. He's yeah. got a really gorgeous dog as well. I think it's Indy is the name oh. of his dog. So gorgeous. And he did a taste test oh, of nice. all the Aldi stuff. And it just, uh, so many great burgers. And I mean, it's all processed food, yeah. but still want to try it. The Impossible Burger. Mm. I'm really intrigued about them coming over because I'm going to try and see if I can get some of those out in the States oh. as well. On another note, because obviously I'm very excited that I'm going away for a, a week mm. to America. So I'm going to New York and then Richmond in Virginia. I'm a bit jealous, but I'm going to Denver, Colorado. Yeah, tell me 17th that. 17th January, I am. <laughs> Can't There's wait. me going on about my trip. <laughs> Are you going to do some videos out there? Well, we're going to do a lot of radio stuff. Right, so we're yeah, doing yeah. Like, interviews with people. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to take my phone so and probably my camera. Yeah. So. Do some do some vlogs, some vegan oh, vlogs. Wicked. I would imagine that in America, I think there's so much more choice Ooh. of foods there, especially processed. Well, processed I've already foods. got all my. I don't know if you use Happy Cow and use their trip thing. Mm. So whenever I go abroad or go somewhere else, I always have a trip, and so I. <laughs> but I always put in the restaurants, I c the places I want to right. go to, and I've got quite a few to go to. I, haven't I think done, I use them in Malta. Mm, I haven't got vegan. done my New York ones yet, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if anybody out there is in New York or Richmond or Virginia and you want to meet up or you want to re recommend some places, or Place in here. Denver, yeah. look at us, the international jet service. I know, and talking of food, we got sent some stuff from Move Free, who we were talking I about just before Christmas, because you asked if I bought the advent calendar, and I didn't, but everybody's raving about this chocolate, and I'd never heard of them before. My mum, look at all this, <laughs> I know, my so mum bought me last year, and I was so impressed with this. Not only did she buy me the Booja Booja truffle, selection box which she bought me again this Christmas thank you mummy your mum's um, great my mum's great she also bought me some moo bars because she went into Holland about it and said oh, I got a vegan for a dollar what do I buy her and then this year I think I mentioned on one of the other videos I got a year seven tutor group and they knew right from the beginning they were never going to get chocolate and things from me they yeah. might get skittles and starburst and things but then I bought them a moo advent calendar with little chocolates in it every day they loved it. Yeah. They really loved it. Not one student complained about the taste. That's brilliant, Not isn't one it? of them. And these are little year seven kids. These kids are in Tottenham going, I mean, oh my God, miss, you don't eat chicken. How do you not eat chicken? It's and not just people that aren't vegans that would sniff at something like that. Ooh, it's yeah. children, because children, children are famously quite picky, aren't they? Yeah, they, yeah. They don't eat everything. I've only tried one of these that we got sent, which is really good. Mm. So all the rest are going to be new to me. So this is Rosie Rabbit. Rose, I'll do it in a Suffolk accent. Ask Rosie Rabbit. <laughs> and we should say that these are manufacturers of dairy-free, gluten-free, organic and vegan chocolates. So and they're in Devon. They're pretty much safe for everybody, aren't they? They're soya-free as well. Yeah. No GM. And the wrappers are... I is love it just the me design. Or the wrappers are just shiny and... Just really attractive, aren't they? And compared just, to normal chocolate wrappers. And I love the vis I love the oh, little yeah, the, animals the on cartoons, them. Cartoons, yeah. So this is bunny comb bar. That looks really good. No. Mm. <laughs> I want. You don't want to eat more because we've got all that to go through. I wasn't expecting that to no. be so honeycomby. Do you remember crunchy bars? Mmm. Mmm. It's the way it sticks to your teeth. Yeah, and, and I love that. Oh, that's so good. Honeycomb itself is vegan, isn't right, it? Right, right. It's not made out of honey. 
It's made out of sugar. So the flavouring... Isn't it? I mean, does it taste of honey? No, because it's a toffee, isn't it? It's more like a cone. caramel, isn't mm. it? It's a kind and that's of what it was sugar. anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's good. That is really good. And actually the chocolate's really light. We've decided we're going to wait yeah. and film another video to, to review the bigger bars. Yes, because um, we want to kind of finish these. <laughs> Just I, I, These crumbs. aren't going to stay, are they? No. <laughs> How much should we let Jeremy have? Jeremy! <laughs> <laughs> good. Did you like crunchy bars? Yeah. Try that and see what you think. Are you going to appear on the video? No. no. <laughs> Not yet. Mm. Good enough. Mm. <laughs> He's quite picky. With I know. But then he doesn't get... He chocolate. can eat the other stuff. He does eat the other stuff. Yeah. So. <laughs> so Lily Lou is a lemur. Oh, of course she is. Oh, these, these are squares. So this right. is a bit easier. Okay, so. right. Okay, thank you very much. Go so this you. is minty. We got, is there three squares See, on there? See, I love mint chocolate. Mm. Oh, hmm, <laughs> fro. You wouldn't think that was vegan, would you? That's good. No, did you hear that? That is good. And that reminds me of, mm. it's that after eight mm. kind of minty chocolate, isn't it? And it's or, really minty. What's, what's the, um, the, the peppermint? We've got a is big it fries? one. We've got a big one to eat later. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I, I love mint chocolate, but I prefer the honeycomb. Just because I was really surprised by ha how similar I really that was like to crunchy. That. Oh, you this, now you know how you say you love minty. Yeah, I love chocolate orange. Chocolate orange is probably. I'm my not favorite. mad on chocolate orange. It wouldn't be my first choice. Oh, it I don't dislike it. It's just not up there with the others. You know what? I don't think I can leave them sitting there. Like <laughs> <once>. I <laughs> want to try them. None of this, because actually, a friend just messaged me and said, um, "I presume all vegan chocolate is dark chocolate." Right. And it's like, well, this is what's amazing. These aren't dark chocolate. No. No, because that's the thing, isn't it? Because a lot of vegan chocolate, especially Tesco's, the free from chocolate, I, w I would never buy those because I bought them once, but I'm not mad on those. Oh, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It tastes quite synthetic to me. It tastes quite... These don't, do No, they? these don't at all. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's like... That's proper zesty, isn't it? It's like the chocolate orange. Mm. Mm. That doesn't taste like dark chocolate either. No. Well, it's not dark chocolate, it's milk chocolate. Oh! No, uh, what I was saying is a lot of people think that we only eat dark chocolate. So that's... That's uh, a milky one. No. Oh, that's um, milk and whey, okay. Mm. Oh, oh. oh! They use rice milk, don't mm. they, for these? So look. Yeah, yeah rice and rice not, milk. Mm, that's really I'm, nice. I, I'm a chocolate orange convert. I've I've liked all three. I think this was just the plain one. So isn't this it? is the original organic bar. And it's got your hamster on it. Hammy hamster. Hammy hamster. And that's good for kids, isn't it? To have little I little characters. I think these are really attractive for kids. And they're shiny, which I love. Mm. So the um, Moo Free are in oh, Devon. Just sat on it and broken it. <laughs> So these, these, this company are based in southwest of uh, yeah. Devon. Oh, you didn't break me off the I bit, did. <laughs> I did. I was afraid I should have been on that. Get it. <laughs> so. I'm surprised these haven't all been eaten. How many did you get sent? Wow. 20? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't counting. <laughs> you'll, you'll never mm. go. How's that? Is this just the plain mm. one? Plain. Mm. If you just like your milk chocolate nice and plain. Yeah. I think that's brilliant. Right, so you really like the bunny comb. Do you want the last I really bit? like the bunny comb, yeah. Do you want, do you want to share it? Done. Thank you, Mini Moo. These are, oh, this has been nommy. There's lots of honeycomb bits mm. there. Do you want to pick those off? You know what they should do? Mini Moo, you should do space dust, vegan chocolates. You know what they should do? Mm. Little round balls of this. Mm. Like, <laughs> you know, little round balls of like the honeycomb. Mm. With chocolate around, mm. like little. So good. You got it in your beard, you numpty. There wasn't one bar that I didn't like. No. Mm. I like chocolate orange. It's the best in the world. I really like chocolate orange, and I think that's really a really good one. So Jeremy's favourite is the chocolate orange. Yes. Make them like chocolate oranges with the segments yeah. or. Right. So Mini Moos, if you've not bought their chocolates before, mm. check out the details on screen and also uh, down below, we'll give you the links to their website. Um, we can recommend them. 
as proved not. by us just scoffing all these chocolates down. Look, we've still got fish to eat tonight. <laughs> we've got some other flavours. We're going to save mm. that for the next video. We're save these or future video. Uh, also, if you've tried them, mm. let us know what you think of their chocolates. Because they've won loads of awards. They're really popular, aren't they? Popular I chocolate. think they're they're definitely the the leading brand. Leading brand of chocolate. When I was a vegetarian, I ate a lot of dairy milk, and it was one thing. That's why I'm really excited about this fruit one. Fruit and nut. The fruit and nut. I'm yeah. so I can't believe I'm not going to eat that. Today. Yeah. I ate a lot of dairy milk, a lot, like almost mm. every day. Mm. A bar of dairy milk. I thought I would never find anything that would fill that gap. But well, we've definitely got got a choice. Four empty wrappers. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. When can I come and do the next video? Tomorrow? As soon as it's off, yeah. <laughs> it might be. I need to eat all that. <laughs> we'll see you next Chocolate time. Take care.